Hey, this Omar just on here. I uh, want to talk about the new DC for uh, Los Angeles Chargers. And, um, you know, it came out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really didn't think that uh, Bernardo Hill wasn't going to be the coordinator going into the, uh, the 2023 season. But um, he went to... Uh, to Miami, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Vic Fangio, you know what I'm saying, that's where he came up as far as behind Vic Fangio's, uh, well, he, he, you know, he made a name for himself in Denver, and so he's going over there to help him out as far as the defensive back coach, so, you know, much, you know, wish him well, hope, you know what I'm saying, everything work out for him, and so Derek Ansley, he gets bumped up. You know, and um, he's uh, he's real experienced. Like, I mean, he got a ton of years. He been, you know, pounding that pavement, you know what I'm saying, making a name for himself. You know, his coach career started in Huntington, and he was there for four years. Uh, he was a defensive back coach. He went to Alabama as a graduate assistant in 2010, um, 2000. He was in Alabama, he was at Alabama for as a graduate assistant for two seasons and then in 2012 he went to Tennessee. Went to Tennessee as a defensive back coach. And and then um in 2013 through 2015 season, he was the defensive back coach for Kentucky. Then he came back to Alabama in 2016 through 2017. He made it up to the pros. In 2018, where he was the defensive back coach, and then um, and he went to Tennessee from 2019 to 2020. He was the defensive coordinator and a defensive back coach. And so, when uh, Staley got the job, they uh, they uh, offered him the position as a defensive back coach, and so. He been a defensive back coach for 2021 uh, up until the present until Monday where when Hill left, they bumped him up as far as to defense, uh, D.C. So, um, you know, he got a ton of experience, right? He had, uh, I think he had more experience than Ronaldo Hill. So his defense, you know, his schemes or whatever might be different. It's kind of hard to say, you know what I'm saying? Because I got to maybe, I guess if I want to really take a deep dive, I got I to gotta go back and look at uh, some of the stats from Tennessee's, Tennessee's, uh, D, you know, the years of uh, 2019 to 2020, right? And um, I think that uh, he need a healthy, he need a, a healthy guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hopefully, uh, J.C. Jackson will come back from his injury, but usually it takes a year and then a, the following year. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what he can get out of Mike Davis. Mike Davis, he was definitely playing well this season. Darwin James, is, you know, he's still solid every year. He do what he do. Hopefully he can take another level as far as, like, all pro status. You know, which he already is that, but then he could just, you know what I'm saying, like take it even, uh, go to an even higher level, whatever. Um, Adderley, they're going to have to decide whether they're going to keep him. I think he's a good fit as far as a complimentary piece to uh, Darwin James. But, you know, if he, because uh, he up for to get paid or whatever. So, you know, he going to go, He you know, he possible that he gonna go get the money or whatever but um you bring the defense in if we could get a season with you know Khalil Mack and Bosa actually be healthy you know I did like what I saw from uh the D tackle I can't remember his name off the top of my head but he 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 did all right uh Van Noy he was solid uh, so they had some matter of fact, yeah. Let me let 
Let me do this. Let me do this right. Let me do this right, cause once I see the names, I can, I can, I can break it down. Uh, yeah, I can, I can say it without seeing the stats. You know, without seeing the stats, but I just gotta see the names so I can kind of like, I can kind of flow a little easier. Ah, uh, yeah. So Morgan Fox, he was solid on the back half of the season, as well as Joseph Day. That was a solid pickup. Uh, Morgan Fox was a, like a hustle dude. He didn't really get a lot of sacks, but he was definitely relentless. And um, he came with a lot of QB pressures on the back half of the season. Now, um, Tranquil, he stepped it up. He stepped up more so that they had to make uh, uh, Kenneth Murray Jr., the the former first round pick, he's the backup, and to me, he hasn't really done enough as far as like to earn that first round, the first round, you know, what I'm saying being picked in the first round. But you know, Tranquil's actually been more, you know, more of play. And if you look at the, uh, you look at the Jacksonville game, he was making plays like shit in the first half or whatever. You know, he was all over the field. Um. You also still, you know, you get another year of Asani Samuels Jr. I mean, well, he had like what two interceptions in the playoff game. He was he was balling out of his mind. You know what I'm saying? We bring back Bryce Callahan. He was solid as far as checking the um, you know, checking the slot. So it was some pieces that he got to work with. And if they have another season like this this year, um I think mainly they got to work on uh, if they let Keenan Allen go, they get a, a a solid wide receiver, right? But then they could definitely use another, a third option as far as like a pass rush because, you know, the, the offensive line should be cool. You know what I'm saying? Slater, he coming back. And then you had... Uh, Jamari S- S- Salyer, he got hurt in the playoff game, but he was <coughs> he was a solid pickup out of the fifth round. So on the just I'm, I just want to focus on defense because I start going all over the place with the offense. But yeah, if you if you could put another complimentary piece, another pass rush, you know that you can introduce. In case Bosa's injuries do be nagging and he don't be the same guy, Khalil Mack he did he did a good perf- you know he did he did good you know what I'm saying like he did what you expected him to do given his age or whatever he was pretty solid and Derwin James just have a has to have another um, monster year you know what I'm saying he definitely got to step it up when he faced KC because it was like I said the first game. Is the Derwin James I thought I was gonna see for most of the year, but that second game versus uh, Travis Kelsey, he kind of got like, dog. That was like one of his worst performances of the year. But um, he gonna have some. He got some stuff to work with, you know. The uh, the GM's been drafting pretty solid, so whoever they get on on defense, uh, and you know who they pick up on uh, the undrafted free agents or whatever. You know, it'd be a nice to see that they uh that they uh give him something to work with. Now I just want to see like what type of what type of style is he gonna be? Is he a guy that he's a you know is he gonna be you know blitz blitz heavy or whatever? Like you know, it'll just be interesting to see like what type of coordinator is he gonna be? A bend on break type of. DC or is he going to be like a DC that just say fuck it we going to go at it you know what I'm saying you going to have the divisions going to be a lot tougher the division probably is going to be how everybody thought it was going to be in 2022 it's going to be that in 2023 you know with all the upgrades that um well you know you got the Super Bowl champs in there Sean Payton coming he going to make he going to definitely make Denver solid and um the Raiders always rated the Raiders always the Raiders in the sense where they solid as shit. You know, you can't knock them, especially what they got on offense. We got to see what they do with Josh Jacobs and shit. 
Uh, but um, you know, if, if Waller is healthy, you put Waller out there with Adams, and then you get you know, you you show up that offensive line. You know, what I'm saying that that secondary was real uh was young, just like KC's. But the only difference was KC's was they got better as the year progressed or whatever. So we'll definitely see. We'll see what they do, but um, I don't. I'm not. I don't know how to say whether it's a a bad pick or a bad pick or you know a good pick. You know, it's just we'll have to see in the first few games so we can see like what type of defense is he gonna run. But yeah, that's my thoughts on. All right, thanks for listening.